Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how you can make the crochet half a stitch. Here I have my foundation chain. We always start our crochet projects using a foundation chain as we learned on the previous video. Well, to start we need to establish the size of our project. Now we don't have to get rid of the chain stitches that we consider on our foundation chain. To start crocheting our first row of half stitches we should consider that this one is our last chain stitch. Now we are going to crochet two chain stitches. These are the ones that we will use to start our first row of half stitches. The half stitch is woven without initial loop. You do not have to grab the yarn to insert the hook. You will simply insert your hook. Then look, here we have three threads. We are going to insert on two threads to leave one on the top. We insert, we grab, and now we have two stitches here. Now we grab the yarn and we pull through both of them. And here we have our first half stitch. Now on the next stitch we are going to do the same. We insert our hook without the loop. Then we grab the yarn, we have two threads and we pull through as we get them at the same time. Again, we insert our hook, we grab the yarn and we pull through. Now we pull these two threads through with one single loop. The first row that we are going to crochet will be always a little more difficult than the others. Once we started our second row the rest will be much easier. Here it is important to know where to insert your hook to start your first half a stitch. We will leave a thread on the top. We grab the loop, we pull through and we have two threads that we pull through with a single loop. Please keep in mind that to crochet we have to grab our yarn, so when we grab the thread it is to grab a loop. This is called a loop. In this half a stitch we do not need a loop to start. We only insert our hook in the stitch. We grab the yarn and we pull through the two threads. This is a half a stitch. We will continue to complete the row so you can see how to start the second row as we end this one. Here we have already finished the last stitch. I always suggest not to weave it to avoid disrupting the fabric as this is already the last stitch. We are going to, back, to go back by turning our fabric. Look, here I want to show you how our project has a back and front side. This side that you are seeing is the front side. We turn our project and it looks a little different. This side is the back side. In this half a stitch, the two chain stitches that we crocheted at the beginning need to have a space. It will be this one. Then, the second stitch is where we begin our fabric. We insert the hook, we get a loop, we have two threads, we grab, we pull through. Again, we insert the hook, we get the loop, two threads, we grab, we pull through. We insert the hook, we get the loop, two threads, we grab a loop, we pull through. And so on. We get to finish our second row so you can appreciate what you see in the other way around. The back and front of our project and you can see how this half a stitch looks like. And here we reach the end. We reach the end. Here at the end there is no hole to identify easily where the next stitch will be. What we will do is insert our hook and look, here are two chains. But remember that the hood should be inserted at the above chain. Here we look for two threads that correspond to our chain and this is where we insert the hook. We pull through. In this stitch the hook should always be on the top. Look, we weave here to start the next row. One, two chains. Then we turn the project. So. To start, we said that this is the stitch that corresponds to the two chains that we crocheted at first. And the next one is the second one. Then we insert, we grab, we pull through, and so on. 
I have finished crocheting the second row so you can appreciate the way the half stitch looks when you use it in a project. You can work half crochet stitch to make the edges on the leaves of blouses edge edges on sweaters. So we have it here, we insert and grab the two threads on top, pull through and finish. I will show you some projects that you can crochet with this half stitch. Here you have this, this is the front half stitch, this is the back half stitch, front half stitch. All crochet stitches have their front side and back side as we advance learning more crochet stitches I will show you that. With this half stitch you can crochet, you can crochet hats, baby booties and other stuff. Half a stitch is used in most projects. It's a very important crochet stitch. Well, I hope to read your comments. If there is any doubt, I am at your service. Do not hesitate to subscribe. Look, this is a cord crocheted with half a stitch. You crochet by doing the first row with a half a stitch, then you turn the fabric and keep crocheting so you can see front and back of the half a stitch. This is a cord. Another item in this stitch is all seen through the front side, simply because I am crocheting all rows without turning the project. Here was also used to make the neck and the edge around. This is also half a stitch to crochet the circles. In this case too, I made a hat band. And this also is a ring crocheted with can rings. I only crochet it with half a stitch. Well, I hope you like it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Bye!